Hey guys, what's up? Welcome again to CodePix. In today's video, we are going to see how we can enable location permission in our device with Google. Before that, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. So, to fetch the device location, Flutter provides two packages namely Geolocator and GeoEncoding. Before actually going with the code, please ensure that you have those dependencies installed on your Perspect.yaml file. Here, let me show you that uh, we go to perspect.yaml and here I have those packages one is geolocator and the other one is geocode so coming back to the code here here we have uh, the necessary imports once the dependencies are installed now let me zoom it a bit yeah fine so starting with our main function here I have taken the app's name as my app you can put any name you want and then I have created a stateful widget its last name is my app this is the standard code snippet. Now inside the state class, we have taken a variable named as geolocator and we have initialized it to geolocator.getCurrent position where it has the property post Android location as it set to true, which means it generally takes the current position by Android. So next we have taken a variable of position type as current position and a string type current address which in which we are going to store the address, whatever we are getting from the location. So now let's create the function to fetch the device location. So here I have the function uh, get current location. First of all, let me explain this whole function here. So what we are doing is we have a geolocator.get current position function in which we can define what level of accuracy we want. So I have set to location accuracy high. It has other options like best low, which you can try on yourself. Then after it gets the location, so we apply dot then function. And here we initialize the current position variable by the position which we are getting from this function. So in short, this function fetches the location and in the set state, we store location in current position variable. After doing this, we call another function, which is get address from latitude and longitude inside this function only. But why we need this? Because whatever the location we are getting from this function is in the form of coordinates, that is in the form of latitude and longitude. So we need to convert this into an address. So for that purpose, we are going to create another function, which is get address from latitude and longitude. So here we have another function it serves our purpose. Let's see how it works. Inside this function, we have a list P of type placemark, which gets its value from the function called placemark from coordinates, which takes in latitude and longitude from the current position. Next, we define another variable place of type placemark and initialize it P of zero. So this P is a list and we are accessing its first element, which contains our address. Now, we just need to assign this address to our current address variable, right? So we'll be using a set state function here for the assignment. Well, so this is a simple string interpretation. We have taken place thoroughfare, then we have sub thoroughfare, the name of the place and the sub locality. These all four parameters will combine our whole address. Now we are done with the fetching of the coordinates and converting it to address. So the last thing is to display the location or address on the UI. So let's quickly have a look through it. Here I created a material app and inside the scaffold, we gave it a title as location. Then in the body property, we have given a column, set it alignment as center. Then in the children property, we have given a container and set its decoration. Next, we have taken another column and inside its children property, a child's row is taken. And this row basically contains an icon. This is icon for location as you can see here. This is a standard icon provided by Flutter. So moving to the next thing, we have an expanded widget here. And this expanded widget contains a column, which has, uh, then again, it has children property in which we have given an elevated button. Now this elevated button, when pressed, will fetch the location. So we give it a text as get location. And in its on press property, we have called the function get current location. So this get current location will be called here. This fetches the coordinates and converts it into the address. So once this function is called, we have the values of current position and current address in the variables we have defined. So here we simply put an if condition to check whether the data was fetched correctly or not. So we are checking the null property. Otherwise, we are good to go. So if this condition is satisfied, then we have just given a text here which displays this current address on the screen. Or otherwise, we can also put an else condition here. If this condition does not satisfy, then we'll be having an else condition. So it will be here. Now in the else part, we'll be defining a text and we'll simply saying that couldn't fetch the location. So we'll write small o couldn't 
fetch the location uh, these are just unnecessary brackets here and that's it and now we are just done with the thing so let's quickly test it and see how it works so let me quickly open up the emulator here and now we are going to run this so i'll press on run without debugging and let me expand this debug console now let's wait for it to launch the app is built and currently it's being installed okay let's see what happens so okay we got this allowed device permission to access this device location so it's working fine now i click on while using the app currently it couldn't get any location so we are going to click on this get location button here and yeah we got the address amphitheater parkway 1500 pin number i guess so this is the default location provided by this emulator if you are using this on your real device then it will give the correct location where you are or what the location is set on your device so you can also change this location by going to this emulator setting and you can just change it this location either you can search it in the search bar or let me show you so i click here and i'll set location so once we are done with this we're going to restart the emulator now i'll press on get locations and yeah you can see the address has changed so that's it and this is how it works now if you get any issue like it couldn't fetch the location or so so one thing you need to ensure is you can go to your this android folder and click on this app then inside the app expand src then main inside the main you have this android manifest.xml file so one thing you need to ensure is that you should have all these three permissions inside your android manifest.xml file first is the internet then access file location and access ports location so this will enable the location permission now you can implement this on your own and if you like this video subscribe to the channel and hit the like button for more such amazing videos stay updated thank you